All right, fuel pressure test. 93 LT1 Corvette. Uh, again, if you're following this series here of videos, um, <clears throat> we're doing a fuel pressure test here. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm doing some vacuum tests as well. I want to note the pressure reading right now is 38 pounds. I primed the, psych, the system twice. Um, when you're doing these tests, it's important that you do them correctly. I think a lot of people don't do them correctly and they get false indications. Um, the service manual states you should have 41 to 47 psi with the pump on, with the pump on, key on, pump on, that two second it should be running. Those two seconds it's running when you turn that key on, that's the pressure reading you need. Um, it's supposed to drop after that, you know, once it shuts off, it drops down like it is right now at 38. It's supposed to do that. It has to be key on, pump running. And it may, it states in there, it may take more than one key cycle to do this. Um, I'm going to go cycle my key to on and you'll see what my running pump running pressure is and then we'll proceed to some other fuel pressure tests uh, with the engine running. This is key on, key on only, pump running, two seconds. Okay, pump shut off, you saw the pressure reading on the gauge, uh, that's your static fuel pressure test. You know, compare that to wherever your reading is, compare it to your spec. Um, gotta make sure I got things hooked up here and I don't have any vacuum leaks or things fall on here when I start this. Um, hopefully that fuel pressure gauge is okay. I got it in there pretty good. Um, but we're gonna do, you're gonna see what pressure is. Engine running, fuel pressure regulator vacuum line on. We're also gonna do it off and we're gonna do a snap throttle test. Snap throttle is not something you're going to see in a service manual, but it's a completely valid test and a very good one. Again, this is one time I wish my car wasn't so loud, but we'll get over it. Sitting here at idle, engine running, we got 32 pounds with the vacuum line on. Uh, service manual states from your static pressure reading, you should drop 3 to 10 PSI. So if we were at, let's say, 42 with the pump running and we're at 32 now, we're still within specs. Um, keep that in mind, service manual states from your static pressure with it running, vacuum line on, 3, three to 10 pounds it should drop. So we're right where we should be. I'm going to take my vacuum line off right now and you'll see the pressure increase. See it go up? That's with the vacuum line off, 42 pounds maximum pressure in this gauge. Vacuum line off, vacuum line on. I'm going to let this warm up for a second. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you uh, idling vacuum. I don't want to do a snap throttle on a dead cold engine. That just seems dumb. If you're not doing the fuel pressure test this way, you're getting false results. If you report on the forum, you know, what your fuel pressure test is, you should have one, you know, key on, pump running, what that pressure is, what your static pressure is, engine running, vacuum line on, engine running vacuum line off, and also your snap throttle pressure, what that is when you snap it. You should have five pressures. If you're not doing that, it's not gonna give us a full picture of what that fuel pump's doing. All right, sitting here at idle. A little glare, let me get rid of it, there we go. 21 inches of mercury. Looks pretty good to me, nice and even. It's not moving all over the place, dead nut steady. That's what you wanna see. All right, she's had a, a minute or so here to idle and warm up a little bit. Let me get this where it's not going to fall. All right, snap throttle test. All you got to do is snap the throttle open, note your pressure. You'll see it's going about 42 pounds. It's about what it should be. If your fuel pressure doesn't go up when you snap that throttle, 
you got a problem. It should always go up. It tells you your regulator's working, your pump's working, it's able to put out the fuel that the engine needs. Back on our vacuum gauge, I'm gonna do the same thing. You see it go up to zero when I open the throttle, and then it went up towards 25 and then came back down. It's telling us we got a nice healthy engine. Rings are sealing up. We're getting good airflow. You crack the throttle when I let off, it goes up about 24 inches of mercury, drops down to 21. We're good, happy engine. We're gonna go ahead and shut this off right now, and I'm gonna set up for a couple other tests.